Welcome back to Digital Media Pocket Knife. I'm your host, Stephen Krasinski, and in today's episode, I'm gonna teach you how to insert video into your Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. What's cool about adding video to your presentation is that you're actually able to get your point across more clearly when you add visual elements like video. And with all the slideshow software out there, it's actually very easy to incorporate video into your presentation no matter what you're using. Google Slides, Microsoft PowerPoint, or OpenOffice Impress. Now before we dive into this, I wanna let you know that in the description below, I'm gonna give you a link to a checklist. The checklist is gonna be there for you to use so that anytime you wanna add video to your presentation, you just follow the steps on the checklist, check it off as you go. You're gonna have the best presentation in the group because you're adding video. All right, now without further ado, let's dive into it. Once you have your PowerPoint presentation open, you wanna go and select the slide that you wanna put the video on. In my example here, I'm gonna actually put the video on its own separate slide between slide one and slide three. So I'm gonna select slide one. On the home tab here, I'm gonna select the new slide icon. It's gonna automatically put the slide below slide one, which was the slide I had selected. I wanna get rid of everything here on the canvas. Um, so I'm starting with a blank slide. Now to insert a video, up top here next to home, I'm gonna click on insert, and then underneath media, or in media, I'm gonna click the video button and choose a video that's on my PC. I can choose to upload a video or use a video in my presentation that's found on the internet already, so from YouTube or Vimeo, something like that. Um, but in this example, I'm gonna choose a video that's on my computer. I wanna choose a video that has a short duration for this example. Let me see if I can choose my details. Uh, video files, none of them very short, except for this one. I was actually, so this is a trip from Italy. What I was doing was I was filming um, outside of the plane, I was filming inside of the plane just to kind of show or remember um, how far we were coming. What this uh, screen actually showed in the video was um, it, the logo of the, the airline, but then it also showed a map of where we were currently in the world flying above which ocean. Very cool. Um, so I wanted to record that. So once I do the insert video, find the video on my PC, and then click insert, um, the video is put into the presentation. It's put onto that slide. I can resize this video however I want. Um, if I choose the node at the corner of the video, the video actually keeps the proportions. Um, it's nice if I uh, select the node on either of the sides of the video, it really constrains the proportions um, and it distorts uh, the video. You don't want to do that. I can stretch it. This doesn't look good or make it really compact. Um, I'm going to control Z that. Um, so choose the, the corner node anytime you want to resize to keep the proportions. You can also um, hold the control button and that's going to keep the object in the position that you wanted it. It's going to just change the access point of where you're resizing this video. Okay, with the video selected, I'm going to set a couple different uh, parameters here. If I were to go and start my presentation right now, um, let's actually take a peek. So I'm going to choose slide one, go to presentation view. Um, I have transition set up here, so the transition is a crossfade between the slides. Um, I've got slide one, slide two is the video, and slide three. So if I hit the mouse button and go from slide one to slide two, nothing happens to the video, and that's kind of weird. It just stays there as, as a picture. It doesn't look like it's a video at all. Um, I can take my mouse and hover over the video and then click the play button. Sometimes, though, you may want the video to play automatically. So this will do the trick, and I have to keep in mind that in the editing mode I had the volume deselected so I'm going to put it back on so the volume isn't muted that's great so at the end of the video the video does nothing it just stays there I have to actually hit the mouse button or the keyboard button again to advance to the next slide we do see that it kept the transition so that was cool I'm going to choose the slide that has a video on it and I'm going to set a different couple different parameters with this video so choose the video up top here you're going to see some options appear format and playback this is specifically for video these are video tools I'm going to select playback, make sure the video is selected. Um, and then underneath uh, or under video options, there's a start drop down menu that says auto, uh, by default says in click sequence. What you want to choose is automatically. And what that's telling PowerPoint is that when you get to that point in the slide, you want the video to play automatically for you. You don't want to have to choose any mouse buttons or, or play buttons or anything of that sort. You want the, uh, the software to do the work for you. I'm gonna go back to slide one, uh, start the presentation, go to slide two. Video starts playing automatically as we can see. We're gonna let this video play the whole way through so I can show you what happens at the end of the video. Nothing, 
nothing. I can go back and scroll through the video again, I can play it again, or I can hit the mouse button and advance to slide three. What I actually want to have happen is I want the slide to automatically play the video and then automatically, automatically transition to slide three. In order to do that, select the slide with the video, select animations, uh, I'm sorry, select transitions. So this is tr talking about the transitions of the slide. Um, after transition is selected under timing, I want to unselect the on mouse click button. I want to select the after zero seconds button. Now, what I want to do in this time uh, uh, box over here is I actually want to increase this to, you can do one second, you can do a tenth of a second. Um, either one is fine. But what this is going to say is after the video is done playing and after one second after the video is done playing, transition to slide three. We're going to start the presentation over. We're going to go to presentation view, slide one, go to slide two, let the video play. It was a fun trip. I need to go back. Automatically transitions to slide three, and then you can move on with the rest of your presentation. The last slide is done, and that's it. So that's how you add video to your presentation. Very simple. As we saw earlier, you can also insert videos from a URL. Um, I want to suggest to you that you get that checklist that's in the description below because I actually show you in the checklist how to add the videos from a URL and give you those step-by-step -step instructions. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please subscribe to my channel. I aim to give you guys tech and creative tips that you can use to build your skill set. Don't forget that I added a link in the description so that you can go and grab this checklist so that anytime you want to add video to your presentation, you have it right there at your fingertips. That's it for this video. I'm Steve Kwasinski. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time on Digital Media Pocket Knife.